game. Julio wins it in the 10th inning. <sighs> wow. What a win that was. And how do I feel about this? You will find out once again from a word from our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal. And you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description. So take advantage and thank you. So if you really felt good about that Mariners win, go ahead and save $20 by using my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to go to the game tomorrow for hopefully the Mariners win that series. Now let's talk about the game and how it all went. Now before I get started, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification to help grow this channel and even donate to the channel. And of course, consider joining the membership of my channel. Information will be available as well in my channel. So let's take a look and see what went down. So it first started with Logan Gilbert pitching a gem of a game. He pitched eight strikeouts, just like what George Kirby did. And he gave up only one earned run. He only gave up four hits within 91 pitches after seven complete innings. I wish he had one more inning just only because he was just doing really well. But that didn't happen, so Gabe Spire came in. But at least he got two strikeouts out of it. And in the first inning, let's go to the offensive end. I know we're just going all over the place, but Mitch Hanniger, he singled. And that scored in J.P. Crawford, who had that amazing bunt. But then in the fifth inning, Boston tied the game. And it was a ground out because the runner, Rafaela, was just way too fast because he had that double and then he got the third base. And then Mariners just had problems. Like, there was so much problems on the offense that had me concerned. Like, there was just so many swings and misses. Like, for example, Julio, he was just swinging at really bad pitches, just kept whiffing on the inside when he was like, just let those go and just wait for the right ones. But he didn't do that, which is why he struck out so many times. But now let's keep moving on. And it led to eventually the 10th inning where... Trent Thornton was in, and that's after Austin Voth and Gabe Spire combined for five strikeouts in two innings, which is very efficient. I mean, that's like amazing. But then the 10th inning was an absolute disaster where Reyes, he singled where Rafaela scored, and the same thing. And then Yoshida singled where McGuire scored. And then Luke Rayleigh st stepped up with Ty France. He singled, and that led to Ty France scoring. And then J.P. Crawford grounded into, he had a fielder's choice to second. I guess what that's what they're saying. But whatever it was, he scored in a run, and he was and Rayleigh was barely safe. And that led to Julio Rodriguez with his arguably his first ever walk-off job of his entire career because I've been watching a lot of Julio games, and I've never seen him hit a, a walk-off. And if it was, you would have saw it on YouTube and social media by now, and maybe things would have perceived him differently. But Julio, he's not known to be exactly a clutch player. He, he just unfortunately isn't. But this time he did step up and it finally did happen. Now let's take a look at the box scores. So Julio, Rod, oh, J.P. Crawford was one for five. He did score a run. Then it was Julio Rodriguez. He was one for five. He got the one hit. Jorge Polanco was awful, 0 for three with strikeouts. Mitch Hanniger was 1 for 4, didn't do great. Cal Raleigh was terrible, 0 for 3. Ty France, 1 for 4. Luke Rayleigh at least was big in the extra innings. And then Dylan Moore, he was 0 for 2. Canzone, 0 for 1. Urias, 0 for 1. Just, ugh, just not good. And Josh Rojas was 2 for 4, so he was actually really good in this game. So, key takeaways, Logan Gilbert pitched very well, eight strikeouts. I know I said that before. Other things I'm looking at in the notes, because I really do take notes, I did like that Gabe Spire pitched two strikeouts, and Austin Voth struck out three batters in a row as well. But the, I just didn't like the terrible swinging that was going on. Like, just so much swing and misses that it was so ridiculous. And what was also frustrating, there was like a lot of 
check swings and misses, which was also infuriating to watch. And it really looked like towards the end of the game, I was thinking we were, I'm, I was chatting with all my friends up there on YouTube and they were like, man, this ownership really should have spent the money on Josh Donaldson because our third base core isn't great with the exception of Josh Rojas. I mean, he's off to a pretty good start offensively, but aside from that, we really could have used like the Eugenio Suarez and Josh Rojas, or I mean, sorry, uh, Matt Chapman. Did I say Donaldson? Apologies if I said Donaldson. I don't even know at this point, but man. I mean, I think Eugenio Suarez would have thrown any of those guys out that could have prevented runs. And I remember in the middle of the game, there was that play that Josh Rojas barely threw. Well, he threw a guy out, but then they overturned it to be... They overturned it, and then that led to them tying the game. So hopefully tomorrow we can just see more waking up on the offense because they really just finally woke up in the extra innings, which was very nerve-wracking. And... Man, this offense, I know, I've been saying it. Like, they've really got to pick it up because, like, as much as I've been dogging on the bullpen and Scott Service's questionable bullpen decisions, you still got to score the runs. And and they really didn't score anything with the exception of that first inning and then all the way in the extra innings, and that's where they scored. So hopefully going to the final game, the Mariners can win the final game and hopefully win the series to put them up to three and one because last year they went one and three start. And then in the starting, we got Garrett Whitlock against Bryce Miller. Garrett Whitlock has a five and five record with a 5.15 ERA. He struck out 72 batters in his 10 starts with 13 walks. So he may not walk a lot. So he may strike out a ton. Who knows? And then Bryce Miller had a 4.32 ERA, eight and seven, heavily talented, 119 strikeouts and 25 starts. But hopefully for his first start that it will not be spoiled. But again, keys to the game. Too much swing and misses. Logan Gilbert pitched very well. Too much check swings as well. So hopefully going forward, the Mariners can fix these problems after the series. But that's going to do it for me. Those are just my thoughts. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification. And also to those that were part of my live show. Very much appreciate it, and hopefully I can make it to the next one. And thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video, and if you would like to be more updated about how this series has been going on, check out these last two videos. And thanks for watching.